There are many ways to deal with stress in our lives. There's exercise, meditation, maybe even yoga. However, there's one man in Erie County who has his own way to cope with the pressures of life. He retreats to his basement and he spends a lot of time with his model railroad display. You're going to have to see this. Our John Last spent time there himself for this edition of The Last Word. This is Rick Bell's house in Harbor Creek. Inside is a very impressive model train display. You can even call it a museum to Northwestern Pennsylvania history. Model railroad track and model railroad trains are everywhere you look in Rick Bell's basement. The display covers three rooms in the basement. The track runs through walls. It runs through tunnels. It expands over the washer and the dryer. Train cars and locomotives are everywhere in this basement. The display is the result of 40 years of devotion to his beloved hobby. I've never counted locomotives and cars and uh, I don't know what the investment is. I probably don't want to know what the investment is. Um, one of the common questions is how many feet of track, I can't tell you. Rick constructed all the buildings and scenery for his display. The thing that makes Rick's model display so impressive is that he dedicates the display to the history of Northwestern Pennsylvania and its ties to the railroads. Here's a tribute to Corey with the Corey Jamestown Office Furniture Factory. Here's the old Erie Coke plant at the foot of East Avenue in the city. Here's the passenger platforms during the busy days of Union Station. Here's the former Pennzoil Refinery in Rouseville in Venango County. Sharon Steele in Mercer County. How about the Straw Brewery in St. Mary's? It's all here in this basement. This is my full-time job, man. Model railroading. I love it. Rick is recently retired from Emergicare, where he served as a paramedic and a dispatcher. He is a longtime member of the Fairfield Volunteer Fire Department. He's responded to a lot of pain and suffering. Rick lost his son in Afghanistan. He's undergone heart bypass surgery. His model railroad has always been the place to go to relax and to put his mind at rest. It's something where you can retreat to from the stresses of everyday life in our modern society. Rick displays black and white photographs that hang above the very same scenes he built for his railroad. He adds tiny antennas onto his locomotives to make them look more authentic. He spent 50 hours building this tower. Impressive. So I'm determined to enjoy every second of my life on my dying breath, and this is going to be a big part of it. With the last word in Harbor Creek, John Last, Erie News Now.